Hey, Jeff, yeah, you know, one thing that you continue to talk about is Coach Vince Dooley, and, and I'm sad that we haven't brought him up yet because I saw him in the tunnel after the game at the National Championship game. Uh, he couldn't really talk because he had just had laryngitis, but he was really excited, obviously. He was the last head coach to win a national championship for the University of Georgia before. Now Kirby Smart will be the last one to have won a championship for the University of Georgia. And what Vince Dooley did for this program was obviously incredible. Did you ever have interactions with Coach while he was here? Yeah, I actually, I actually did. So he had, he still has an office on campus. So we talk about legends. You win a national championship here, you're gonna have an office somewhere <laughs> on campus forever, forever. Um, I, I was a history major at, at Georgia, and I'm getting. I'll get to the point of why I'm mentioning this in a second. Is we had to write a senior thesis, and I, and I wrote mine on the uh, the integration of you know the first African American football players at UGA and, and the integration of African American players into the SEC, because obviously that you know. A majority of the players in today's SEC are African American, and I wanted to get an idea of what it was like during that time. And Vince Dooley was kind enough to sit down with me for an hour. Wow! And you know, I got to—I interviewed the players that were ultimately were at Georgia that that helped break through the barrier for that. But I got to, I got to sit down with Vince Dooley and and just kind of hear like his perspective on it and and, and his relationships with those guys and just. It, it was so obvious to me why so many guys who played for him admired him and admire him to this day. Um, my roommate and best friend from college, uh, uh, Ty Fricks, he snapped at UGA. His brother snapped at UGA. His dad snapped at UGA, and he was one of the annoying guys from 1980 that would always bring it up. <laughs> but he played for Vince Dooley, and he would always be like, you know, core values, the type of man he was. So obviously I'm glad that we can now talk about Kirby Smart and the 2021 Georgia Bulldogs. but. Everyone at the University of Georgia and the state of Georgia always held, uh, held Vince Dooley in high regard because of not only of what he was able to accomplish as a football coach, but who he was as a person and who he still is as a person. And I can imagine that he's some type of a mentor to Kirby Smart, as I'm sure for other former coaches were. And what Kirby can learn from Vince Dooley is a lot of things. And the fact that he was the last to win a national championship, I'm sure he had some words for Kirby. Oh, definitely. And, and there was a great shot that, uh, the, uh, that um, ESPN did um, when it was inevitable that they they were going to win they flashed it to Vince Dooley and you could kind of see he was dazing off not dazing off but like he was kind of in a trance almost because you could tell that he was probably having flashbacks oh, to yeah. the Sugar Bowl from 1980 and it was just kind of like life has come full circle this feeling of affirmation like hey I did it and that was my time I'm so glad I was able to but thank God we've done it again because yeah. he knows how much it means to the to the university to the state and even though he was an Auburn guy he, you know he plays better than black today yeah and nobody and Jeff was talking about that just a little bit ago no one really remembers that Auburn time now it, it's just all of his time the United in, in States the United States Marine and, and, and an Auburn alum and nobody even cares because yeah. they just care they care that he was a United States Marine but they don't care yeah. that he had anything to do with Auburn University because now it's all the University of Georgia